Welcome to the Prep Reporters. Once again, we're on the road. We're at Forest View High School to defend uh, conference champs here. And uh, joining me is Coach Medlin. Good to have you, Coach. And also, you. Coach, uh, Coach Hawk, offensive coordinator for Forest View. Coach, tell us a little bit about this season. But yeah, you had a rough opening schedule, or tough opening schedule. Three South Carolina schools, uh, starting with Nations Ford, then you had East Rutherford, but then you had Clover, and then uh, Burns High School down there in South Carolina. You know, Burns is a nationally ranked team. But uh, tell us a little bit about those opening games. You know, your first five, your two and three to begin with. But like I said, you know, you had a very tough schedule. Well, we did, and I think that uh, looking back, we had a chance to. I told the team after the third game, going into the Burns game, we could be 0 and 3, or 3 and 0, or what we were, 1 and 2. Um, I thought we were in all three games. The, the first three we had a chance at the end to win all three. Unfortunately, we were able to get one of them. But, um, you know, it's a tough schedule. Clover year in, year out's good. Nation Ford is playing really well this year. And um, we were fortunate to get the East Rutherford game. And then, of course, Burns went down there and uh, things got out of hand a little bit. But, but that's, that's, you know, I think good for us in the long run. Hopefully, they pay off playing that schedule. And then as we get into conference play, we'll be prepared. Yeah, I mean, you got your first win last week, conference game against these Gaston. You know, good, you know, just having those games, playing tough opponents, you know, gets you ready for conference where you got some good teams. You know, you have your South Points that are always, you know, up there, which, you know, right now it looks like Crest is going to be that team that's kind of stepped up this year. They're looking real good right now. And you, know, you got those them coming up in a couple of weeks. But uh, tell us a little bit, you know, last year you had, you know, you went out in the second round, lost to the, defend, or to the you know, state champion, eventual state champion. Tell us a little bit, you beat them in the conference to win the conference. Tell us, you know, that next step for you this year, you know, coming from last year, ready to make that next step this year. Well, I think you just look each year to, to do a little better than you did the year before, build on the previous year. We've done that so far. We were 4-7 and seven to 8-4 and four to 10-3 and three last year. We beat uh, South Point for the first time. We won our first playoff game. We were tied for conference championships. So we made some strides last year, but obviously, the, the next step, I believe, is to try to position yourself to go as far as you can in the playoffs. Because once you get in the second and third round, you know, the injury here or there or, or team gets hot, there's no telling what happens. So that's our goal is to position ourselves to make a playoff run, and you do that by finishing well in your conference. And unfortunately, the past two years we've been 5-1. Uh, and one. We We're 10-2 and two over the past two years in conference uh, you know, against some really good competition. So that's something we're proud of. And, Hopefully that sets you up for a playoff push each year because we know our conference is as good as anyone's. And, um, so we're excited about that challenge this year. Uh, you know, I don't know who's the favorite. South Point obviously is the champion until until someone beats them. Um, Crest will be good. Obviously they they're off to a good start. Kings Mountain's going to be tough. North Gaston's improving. Uh, you know, last week was a non-conference game. East Gaston oh, right. is still non-conference, but. Um, you know, we're excited about getting them conference playing to see how it turns out. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Coach, talk to you a little bit. Offense this year, tell us a little bit what you got going on, anything new, special going on, and who's leading that offense for you this year? Uh, we got a, a very young offense. The only uh, seniors that we have are two split ends. One's a trant. Well, we got three, and they're all receivers. Uh, two of those receivers are uh, transfers, so it's also their first year in our offense. So we really have about two returning starters on offense and uh, we're just very young. It was very young and uh, we made big strides against uh, Burns. I know it, you know the, the score of it was kind of askew and it was 52-6 and everything like that but that week we played Burns I think the offense you know, just made great strides. They, uh, they got a couple first downs there right out of the gate um, and, and obviously as far as leading and making big plays on offense, it's going to be uh, number 20, Octavius Wallace. And he's already done some special stuff. He ran for uh, 253 yards against East Gaston last week. And then uh, the, against Burns, he ran for over 100 yards. So as far as you know, leadership on offense, and he's a junior. But um, he, he, he's putting up the numbers right now. Nice. All right, Coach, tell us a little bit about your defense. Uh, who you got over there leading them and you know what you're looking for out of your defense this year? Well, we got some good guys back from last year. Offense, we are um, younger than we are on the defense side of the ball. We have quite a few starters back on defense. 
Roger Lindsay is one of our leaders, an inside linebacker, Joe Reed on the defensive line, Cortez Nixon in the secondary, all three of those guys played a lot of downs for us last year. Um, I think Jamar Kendrick's finally back healthy with us after dislocating his ankle the first game of the season. He's a, a former starter for us and he's, he's back in the mix. It's good to have him back. Ryan Wilson played quite a bit last year in the secondary. Our corners are new. Um, our outside linebacker is relatively new. And we have a new defense lineman, which our boys done a good job. I think he stepped up really improved the past couple of weeks. Uh, and, and some players are playing a little bit of both. Some some playing some defense as well as offense. Jamie Colmore is playing both lines and doing a good job. Um, he's really our main guy that sees two-way action. Uh, I can think of off the top of my head. I don't think we have anyone else really playing a lot of downs both ways. So that's good, too. Two platoon, keep guys fresh, especially as hot as it's been. But, um, you know, Roderick and Cortez, they're our leaders coming back from last year. and They're, they're stepping up and defense is coming together. I think, like I said, we've had a chance at three out of four um, or two out of three games we've lost. You know, Burns game, we did get out of hand a little bit. But there were some mistakes made early in that game that cost us. It wasn't, um, it was a good learning experience for us. I thought it was a good competition, obviously. But, Defense has kept us in other two games. The Clover game and Nation Four, they put us in a position we just gotta come through in the future and make the play. Alright. Um, two weeks from now you got Chris. You know, that that you know is opening up conference. Uh, tell us a little bit, you know, about Crest and how you you know look to attack that, you know, that game. Well, they're obviously gonna be a, a good team. They're five and right now. They um, they've got a new coach who has done really well. He's won well over hundred games maybe close to 200 where he's been at Brevard in Scotland County. So we know they got a good staff in place. We know they have good players from the past two years we've played them. Um, they were young. We were fortunate enough to win the past two years by the same score on last-minute field goals. So um, we expect a big challenge, obviously. I, mean, I think they're going to be a physical team. They're going to be a team that we have to, to play hard and, and take advantage of opportunities to have a chance. And, I expect our team to do that. They've done that the last two years against the the better teams in the conference. You know, we stepped up and we played well against those teams. So hopefully that trend will continue. And like I said, I hope that the uh, non-conference schedule was a benefit to us. We came out of it relatively injury-free, and um, you know, we know that you have to be prepared to go into this conference because after Crest you have North Gas, and then you have South Point and Ashbrook back to back. So. It's going to be a challenge. You end up with Hunter Huss and, and Kings Mountain. So hopefully those teams have, have prepared us for the conference. And we're, we're excited about it. I know it's going to be tough. I know it's going to be a, uh, a challenge each week. Yeah. Uh, Coach, anything special? I mean, I know you're not going to go into game planning, but anything that you see on the offensive end, you know, coming up for the Crest game that you're really looking forward to? I think we're just going to see more of the same of what we've been doing, uh, trying to run the ball, take care of the football, not turn it over and uh, just basically continue what we've been trying to improve on these first four games we've already played. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. Uh, we're here at Forest View once again. And next week, we'll be at Londale Burns. And go to FFN Network for all your high school news.